everyone welcome back welcome back to my channel um this is another story time storytelling you know spill the beans whatever you want to call it and honestly like these type of videos like you know of course i do the writing videos do content writing videos blogging videos like you know i'm still trying to figure out where i stand in the content space i know i do writing i just am still learning my way around but these videos are just videos where i just want to share my life i'm not i don't care if these views don't get if these videos don't get that many hits like it just doesn't matter it's just just to share my story for anyone who cares, who for anyone who wants to to watch my story time videos, they can get a little sneak peek on my life. And the thing about many writers is they are big. They are they they are these big figures. People look up to them. People love what they write, but they never go in depth about how they got to where they are. No one knows about how they got to where they are, and. That story is why people rally behind you because they see where you started. They saw your timeline. They saw you as an ugly duckling. They saw you start out as a little itty bitty, um, a little itty bitty uh, cocoon to go into this big butterfly. And that's why people rally behind you because they they are part of your journey and they're a part of your truth and a part of your your the good, the bad, and the ugly of your life. And with these story times, it's not any type of order because I'm just trying to remember that this happened actually very recently, but anything can happen. Like, you know, like I might forget some stuff, like just anything can happen. And um, I don't know why I have this pillow, but anything can happen. And I just, and just talking about from what I remember, I might go back a few times on certain things, but yeah, like, I, I really want to talk about just some important stuff that led me to where I am. Um, this video goes specifically about like a really big person that I met in the content space and he really helped me through a lot of stuff and, and like the thing about my story is that I've met a lot of people in my life despite how long my life has been a lot has went down in these 16 years of living in my life being in this body being in this spirit of who i am i've met a lot of people and i've realized that the people that i've met like they i keep the that i meet one person and then it trickles down to the next person and then the next person and the next person and each of these people are the same person over and over and over and you know they they hurt me they they backstab me they talk crap about me they even cyber bullying me and i realize like I'm doing this to myself. I, I keep being the victim. I keep letting this happen because I'm not learning from my mistakes over and over and over. And that's the thing. When you have someone who hurts you over and over again, it's going to lead to the next person, and then the next person to the next person until you find out the root cause. And if you find out the root cause, you're going to figure out, okay, this is what's happening and here's what I'm going to do to fix it. And um, this story actually kind of links to my journey on Twitch video, my story time bit. That video was about like kind of like my journey with content creation. And, and this kind of goes in depth of when I started my content more of like a health and well-being standpoint until I pivoted and went to writing because writing was my, my way of just my life. Writing was my life. I wrote more than I spoke sometimes. Writing was my my vessel it was my it was my being it was like a it, it was like a whole other being in itself and don't be surprised if like you see me in a different outfit if you see me in like in a different camera angle because it's kind of late tonight so i might not get through this whole video i might like come back like tomorrow another day and then you know continue with this story but and don't even be surprised if like this video gets like multiple parts like a part one a part two a part three i'm gonna try to get through it but don't be surprised if i don't get through it and there's a few parts but yeah this story is a lot and um i might get emotional i might get teary eyed i have some tissues in the back ready to to freaking to, to get going on this and if you get ready for you're gonna if you're an emotional person get your tissues ready and be ready for this for this story get your get your, your snacks get your whatever you got and, and 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 be ready to freaking um chat with me so this story happened in around 
Um, this summer, actually, this summer, last summer, it was, it was a lot. Um, this was when, um, I met some really big, big people in the YouTube space, the content space, the Twitch space, and they really, really inspired me to just make content, and, and Twitch was my first place that I actually created content. I was an, I was a very avid gamer, believe it or not. I was an avid gamer, and gaming was another form of my escape, and I used gaming as just a way to play. I played with my friends, and I chatted with them. I've met some amazing people on Xbox. Sadly, I don't know them in real life, but I've trusted them enough to, to freaking consider them friends, and it's crazy how when you meet someone online, like on Twitch or online in a gaming platform, that they feel like a friend, even though you've never met them in person, you've never talked to them in person, they feel like a friend. They feel like, you feel like they're at your corner compared to, you know, a friend you would have person where they 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 probably don't have your back so so when i was making my content i um i don't know if i want to get into this part of the story but i think i might as well just do it anyway so i was watching this one stream this one there was this streamer that i've loved this uh, youtuber who helps streamers to basically kill it she's been doing content that helps streamers her name is ashley christ and ashley christ mom was talking to me i might have to finish up this story in another time but let me just try to get a little bit more in so yes um there is ashley christ you know i talk about her a lot i have her in my panels on my twitch i talk about her in some of my vids because she was one of one of the despite for how short i've known her she's really impacted my life in a positive way and she had a big big thing going on you know twitch failing on multiple times she makes content now she has the podcast youtube and then after that she's been killing it on that she's like let's start streaming on twitch again she streamed on twitch she absolutely slayed it. I've been watching her streams, and I when she came back on Twitch, this was the first time I ever watched her live, and this one was the last few days of school, and I was about to leave the school, and I was, I would, if you don't know the story time, that lap, first story time, that long 40 minute one, that's when I talked about like my school experience. But yeah, I, we were talking, we I was watching some of her streams, and summer hit, and I just kept watching her streams, and then there was a time where there was this thing called like, um, there was his boyfriend was waving a yam in his head. I was like, what the freak? And then Ashley Christ was like, Ashley Christ didn't see, she didn't see him waving this yam in his head, by her head. And then everyone in chat was like, oh my God, your boyfriend's waving a yam in your head. She's like, what, what? And then she missed it. She missed it. And then he was, and then they were like, oh my God, we can call him yam daddy. And I was like, ah. and then I started dying saying, yam daddy, what? And then I was like, you know what? We could call ourselves the Yam Fam. Someone in the chat called call us the Yam Fam. And then after that moment, when when that 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 Yam was waving in her head, she was doing channel reviews. That's what she does in her stream. She reviews people's channels, you know, live. She reviews your panel. She even reviews vods of Twitch. Now, there was just this outpour of vulnerability in the chat, and the first person to open up about their struggles was me. People were just, um, after, like, we were doing the channel reviews and they were talking about the EM fam, this, 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 this chat was just so loving, loving up on each other, and she was just like, and then people, like, people started subbing her, people started selling subs after sub after sub after sub, and I was like, okay, I think it's time. I've never opened up like this ever in my life. I was terrified. I said, I said how, honestly, this, I'm going to try my best to save her, when I told, what I typed, I said, Ashley Christ, you have helped me through so freaking much, I've honestly wanted you to succeed, you've helped me in a dark place, I was in suicidal thoughts, I, I've been through a lot, I've been bullied, I've been, I've had someone tell me I wasn't going to make it with the thing I loved, and you just helped me to become this person, and I'm grateful you helped me to, to inspire me to even and create content in the future. And I wrote that, and seconds later, the chat started 
responding to my message and they started flooding the chat with love and and just positivity and i was like what the freak and then ashton crest was like oh my god oh my god and i made her cry and i was like what did i do i didn't want to no make her cry she was like oh so i can't believe it i can't believe i helped you i helped you in some way it's crazy how my story helped you and do you mind if i if i share uh, your story um on twitter i won't reveal your name and i'll say like, you can do it you can do it and i and then everyone else started opening up. I kind of was the best when everyone else started opening up about, you know, how they, they opened up about their LGBT. Some people said they were bullied for years. Some people said that they've had a spouse tell them they were never going to make it with the thing they loved. And she broke. She broke on stream. She was shaking. I was shaking. I was sitting on my freaking bed, shaking, shaking, crying, and just, ugh, I was shaking. The whole freaking time and that point on I was, she was like like wow people were like and then and then they were like you you've been through so much i was like yes but i use my struggles to help me be a better person a stronger person i use it i don't people are hateful because they hate themselves and they hate who they are and they just want to hate other people to feel good and they're like dang you're so wise for your age and i was like struggles make you the way you are when people say if you could change one thing about the past what would you change i don't want to change anything about my past everything happens for a reason not there's nothing that that that's meant to not have happened everything in my life happened for a reason and it helped me to become this person i am today and from that point she was like like it's crazy like she just broke down on stream people were subbing her the first day she had like a hundred subs the first the first day on stream and then like the first month she had 200 subs and now today she has a thousand subs today and it's just it's crazy how far she's come but the reason why i'm talking about this story is because it relates to one specific person who helped me through some things and his name is bro source rex when i started my twitter because of her i started my twitter and we're gonna start getting into bro source now so i started my twitter and um i didn't start the youtube quite yet though i didn't start the youtube i didn't start the podcast at all yet i didn't i did not start the podcast but i started my twitter and i started the instagram the instagram i had an instagram i had a private instagram just for friends in school but i i shut it down because of the drama of like just stuff going on so i started my business instagram and i started my twitter instagram and i did a few posts and i did one post just about like you know just sending just just an inspirational quiet show that like a heart of flowers and i said like love and kindness is what you need in your life and don't have hate and use your struggles as fuel to help you and then brosaurus rex rex reached out to me on twitter and said um wow like like I, I i've been seeing some of your twitter posts and i really love your, your your mission and your story like maybe possibly you can possibly join our our discord and you can you can we can uh we can get to know each other and we can you can join my community and i was like oh that'd be amazing but you know the way i was like i was a very guarded person like i've never put myself out there like this like for a long time i'm gonna get a sip of water because i can't talk for hours okay i'm sorry but i was like okay I i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this because when you're a content content creator you have to put yourself out there a little bit if you really want to see the, the growth but of course you have to protect yourself and know what you can handle as a writer if you don't feel comfortable you know doing conferences don't do conferences if you don't feel comfortable starting a discord and, and having all that stress don't start a discord but just know what you can handle and know what you can take but at the end of the day you got to put your community first and put yourself out there a little bit if you really want to take this full time and take this seriously but back to this story he said um i really love like what you're doing i love your content I love well the twitter content how you're, you're you're doing stuff about health and well-being and, and and that's kind of what we do and i was like oh that's what, what kind of stuff do you do and he said our organization is called the benevolent gamer very small organization um it, it's kind of like a, a very small organization he helps actually like people of all ages all sizes 
uh, creators, gamers, to who have struggled with abusive, you know, families who've been bullied to just help them come together. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna join. It's like, can you mind signing um, our our little our little fill our sheet thing? And it was uh, like a Google thing, a Google sheet that you sign, and then it says, you know, once you sign, it said this has been recorded. I signed up, and then. I joined the Discord. I wasn't too comfortable with how Discord worked at this time. I didn't know how to work Discord at all. And I came in and um, I joined the Discord. And all those messages that he got from the Google, he put it on the announcements tab and said, hello, we have a new person. He's actually our youngest person. Obviously, I'm always the youngest person in, in streams, always like the youngest creator when I watch people's content because it's, I don't know, I guess that's just how it rolls. I'm the baby. But he said, this is the baby of the family and it's Lucha Del. My name used to be Mercy Bunny, Mercenary Bunny, because I was obsessed with bunnies at that one point. If you can watch past videos, I was Mercy Bunny, Mercenary Bunny. I was a lot of things, even Mercy Overwatch on my freaking console. But, um yeah um he said like i create content for people and all of that and he's like um if you have the time like i really want to have like an in like an in-depth chat with you about just who we are and and like just get to know you a little bit more and i was like yeah i'd love that and he um he didn't he was still typing this up on twitter we were still talking on twitter and uh yeah we i i, I really loved this guy this guy was amazing and he was just just one of the many people i've met on the twitch space that are amazing i wanted to meet twitch people on twitch that were more than gaming i wanted to because i knew twitch was more than gaming i knew twitch was a place to inspire i wanted to just at least find people on twitch that weren't just doing gaming but doing stuff that helps people i don't care what it is streaming tech mental health i just wanted something and i found this guy and i found him and um the next day after school i was scared of my life because i first time every time i meet someone first time I, it's just i'm an introverted person i'm really shy i'm really soft-spoken and just really shy but yeah i talked to him and he was like what up man what up man like he has a really deep voice and he's his voice is like kind of raspy has like a, like a rasp to it and um i was like what he was like what up man like how's it going i was like hey how's it going i was just really really shy and i was like so yeah it's the first time talking like wow and i was like yeah it is and i was like um i was like so what you gotta say today for me and it's like so basically who we are we're a benevolent game where we help people to you know like we said in the twitter like we help uh, people who who've been through like a lot of stuff who've been through you know abusive relationships with families bullying anything i was like wow i really love your mission i was like thank you thank you and he said what i realized from you is like you're really mature for your age you know a lot for your age and i was like yeah i guess it's just because of what i've been through and said what kind of stuff have you been through and i was like i didn't share everything because i was just kind of scared to share everything but i just shared like stuff like i've been bullied growing up i've been um i just struggled with who i was for a very long time and i i just decided to just to 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 use gaming and, and writing as like a vesicle to just to cope and it was it was it, it became unhealthy to the point of where i just i didn't care about my health and he was like wow that's a lot and he even talked about his story how he said he's been in an abusive family he's been in abusive um abusive stuff and and stuff's been going on with him and i was like dang you've been through a lot too and it's like yeah i have been through a lot and i was like do you game at all and i was like yeah i actually do game and i was like what kind of games you play he said, i play rpgs like overwatch i was like dang i play overwatch that was when i was a mercy main and he was like yeah we could we could play some time and i was like yeah i'd like that and he said do you stream and he was like no i don't really stream I, I'm, I'm not really active on twitter or instagram because i'm really focused on like helping my community grow and helping my community like i want to put everyone first and put me later i was like i actually really like that and i was like and I, in my head i was like i hope he's being careful with like just like not putting himself like like putting himself later too much because that can be dangerous like if you put others first too much it can kill you because you need to 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 take care of yourself first and if you are healthy and you're ready and you have the energy then you can help other people
this story is already 20 freaking minutes. This story might be a no joke an hour. Dang, I don't even know if anyone's gonna watch this, but it just started too late. We gotta keep going. But anyway, he said, um, yeah, if you want a game at any time, I was like, sure. I was into like support healers. I loved playing RPGs and support healers. And like, yeah, we, we just started gaming. We started playing together. And uh, I definitely had really good friends on Xbox that I played with, but I wanted I wanted to get to know him as a person. And we started gaming a lot. We started playing a lot and we just got to know each other. And I even like read his blog. He had his own blog, Benevolent Gamer. And I read just what his mission is, his story. I, I read other people's stories, he even like shares other people's stories of like people he's helped and people who have been through things and, you know, people who've had like mental experiences, physical experiences, you know, like disabilities. And he's just helped them get back on their feet. And I was like, dang, this guy's done a lot. And I love how small his community is. He's not worried about having this huge community. It's really small people who are active active in the discord always speaking despite how small it is and i was like this this is a this is an amazing amazing community and you know we started talking more again and then i started and like we were talking now we were talking about like race and stuff like that talking about like you know i've been bullied because of who i was and i was really upset with my race and, and i was like and it's like you want to guess what race i am and i was like i was saying what race are you and he was like, I'm actually African American. Looks can be deceiving. I've seen him on his blog, the way he sounded. I didn't think at all that he was African American, but he actually is. He has a little bit of African American in him. And he's also, I think he said he's half Native American. And like, he just, he hates when people are racist. He hates, like, he doesn't like people who are racist, who assume his race. He's just, he doesn't like that. He likes people who are all about no prejudice and i was like i like that i like that you're into that and um yeah we started playing more we started playing and playing and playing he was just he was just an easy going guy he was just a really and let me tell you i didn't tell you his age he was probably about like in his 30s or 40s and i was like yeah i'm crazy i know i'm crazy call me crazy but call me crazy but yeah but and we we just kept talking and and i was like yeah this is this is good this is the start of something big and i was like brosaurus and he was like yeah and it was like i think i'm gonna start youtube i think i'm gonna start making videos and it was like oh dude i can't wait what kind of videos you want to be making and it was like i kind of want to do videos about like my story and like do well-being and health that's what i wanted to do until like you know i did the pivot to writing not quite yet though it was like i can't wait get let's get going and then this was all during the summer and then i started making my first few videos my first vid was like intro to my youtube channel second vid was like my legendary exemplars and he loved the videos he said these videos are spot on they are perfect like 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 you're almost like a natural at this and i was like i don't know i don't know if i am and it's like you are natural like like i don't know where you got this from but you're natural and i was like dang thank you thank you thank you and like that night like let me go forward i don't want to i'm gonna go forward but i'm not gonna talk about him i'm gonna go forward 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 okay i was sleeping i was sleeping at night and then I woke up and I had a major, major panic attack. I was scrolling to, through Instagram and like almost like five verified accounts followed me and I had the most major panic attack. Like my heart was racing. My head was like a flash went through my head and it was like, oh my God, I, I, I freaked out because I was like five verified accounts and i instantly like deactivated my twitter i deactivated my instagram and i kept my youtube and i deactivated my twitch i deactivated everything and oh god i hate going down memory lane but like like it's crazy how just like my own anxiety held me back from making content and i told him what happened 
and you was like, whoa, 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 wow, you freaking got a panic attack? And I was like, yeah, I did, I did, I did. And I was like, dude, I'm sorry about that, but I mean, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Like, don't, don't do this if you know you can't handle it all. You know, be easier on yourself. And I was like, I know, I know, I know. I just five verified accounts followed me and i was just like i was like i mean that means they're look they're like they're looking at you they like you and i was like i know it's just these big people follow me all up, up just this fast and i was just like it was like i don't know i don't know and then i was like okay i was like <sighs> i decided i came back and then i i kept it deactivated and then I made more videos. I started making more videos. I think I did keep the Instagram. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah, I deactivated Instagram. I deactivated, deactivated Twitter because I felt like I put myself out there too much. I was terrified. I was, and people in the comments were, some people in the comments were like, um, some of my friends were saying stuff like, um, dang, you're doing good with these videos, but I didn't expect you to like show your face immediately. And that gave me anxiety. <laughs> just burp that gave me anxiety and i was just like oh god like what did i just do what if like something bad happens and that's why when you're a writer there's a video i made about how to protect yourself you need to protect yourself don't tell people your real name don't tell people where you live don't tell anyone it because people are out there to hurt you and it gets me emotional when I talk about this because there's people online who, who could have lost their life. Look at, um, oh, I forgot that YouTuber, Dr. Disrespect. He almost lost his life to having a kid and a wife who loves him. There's someone who shot his window and he ended the stream. You need to protect yourself. Don't don't reveal anything that you know is gonna is gonna put you in danger don't use an amazon account because you have to put your address don't use just use stuff that's gonna protect you okay please i'm telling you protect yourself protect yourself because people are out there who want to freaking use you and hurt you so protect yourself and then you know i started making more vids and then that day i made a very very personal video um it was um the uh, vulnerability video and um vulnerability and also i actually started watching the streams and content of like the people in benevolent gamer i started watching their content i started supporting them and yeah i really loved them who they were some of them were a little guarded because like you know they were like you know i'm a kid and stuff like that so they kind of like was like i can't watch the their stuff because i'm a kid and it's to protect me you know there could be creepers out there who want to freaking take me and 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 that's why bro source was so protective of me because he wanted me to be safe and he wanted me to be okay and he didn't want anything bad to happen i mean i was like wow like people are here to they want me as safe and that means a lot and you know i i i made more vids i made more vids and you're probably like, don't leave me, Luch, don't leave me, Luch. I have to leave because my storage is being an absolute pain in the butt. It's being a pain in the bully. And I I have to to end it. But I will release another uh, part two of the story. And we're going to get more into ProSource and get deep in. But um, yeah, the storage is being a big bully with me today. And um, I, I want to release the full video, but... My phone can't take it because I'm kind of recording at the phone right now. But keep killing it. Don't forget to find your place in the writing space. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I think this is my new wave. <laughs> I really love my new mission statement. I'm celebrating. Bye.